how to use grammarly on google docs this is what i'm going to show you in this video so if you're interested then keep on watching if you are a google docs user then you would know that the google docs is an online word processor or editor and it works within the google uh, chrome browser now if you want to use the grammarly or if you want to integrate the grammarly within the google docs the first step is to install the grammarly chrome extension and for that we would go to the google chrome web store and we would search for the grammarly and uh, after clicking this you need to install it once that chrome extension is installed you would see the grammarly icon here you need to sign up within the grammarly with your email address if you don't see the grammarly icon here you can click this option and from the drop down menu you can pin your grammarly extension over here once it is done you can come back to your um, document but the one step which i'm skipping is that you need to sign in into the grammarly once you are signed in you would see the grammarly extension here and the grammarly uh, small icon which would show you the number of mistakes or corrections the grammarly is suggesting in your document and it would also highlight the areas where it is suggesting the changes for example it has underlined the word video if i go over it as you can see that it is suggesting that i need to put the comma after video you can accept the suggestion or you can simply go and click dismiss but i will keep on uh, accepting the suggestions from the grammarly and here i think it is suggesting changing the phrase the word you is extra so i'm going to delete that and now as you can see that the all corrections are gone now if you want to have extra features you need to buy the grammarly because while grammarly is free extension but the additional features are available only if you are a premium user in the free version of grammarly it only checks the spelling grammar and punctuation whereas the premium and business options as you can see that there are a lot more options it it provides for example it also checks the plagiarism what is the it it would suggest you to change the tone clarify the focus word choices form formality of formal formality level fluency and additional advanced suggestions so it is up to you that if you want to freely use you can uh, go to the link which is available in the description below to install the chrome extension or you can uh, visit the chrome extension page through our link and buy these uh, premium or business uh, versions if there is any topic uh, you want me to make a tutorial especially on google docs you can ask me in the comment section below in any case thank you for watching this video till the end if you like this video hit the like button share and subscribe